Congratulations on purchasing a CRP Adirondack rocker, the most comfortable rocking chair you'll ever sit in. Your chair comes ready for assembly in eight pieces. There's a seat, a back, two back legs, two rockers, and two arms with the front legs attached to them. Start by carefully opening the shipping carton as we will be using it in assembly. This assembly is also easier done with two people. You'll require a number two Phillips or a number two Robertson drill bit and drill. We'll start the assembly by placing one of the rockers on the shipping carton with the square support piece facing upward. This is where you'll need your helper. You'll take one of the back legs, ensuring that the countersunk holes are facing up and the greatest angled cut is also facing upward. Align the back leg to the scribe mark on the back of your rocker and attach with two of the screws. We'll then take the arm that's attached to the front leg and place it on the rocker. You'll notice that the square goes underneath the back leg from this angle and the support piece on the top of the rocker. Hold this in place while you attach the first screw from underneath the rocker. And then screw on top of the base. You can align the countersunk holes with the peck marks on the arm, ensuring that the arm is flush with the back of the back leg and the triangle support piece is sitting centered on the back leg. You'll repeat this process for the other side. And this is what the arms, legs, and the rocker will look like once they're assembled. Then take the seat, turn it upside down, set it on the shipping carton. Have your assistant take the arm, as shown in the video here. We flip it upside down to insert it in place. That square sits on the inside of the base of the seat and he'll attach just one screw at the front underneath the seat to hold that in place while he attaches the back. Then take the next arm and repeat the process. Then finish installing the remaining screws underneath the seat. As well as the one at the back into the back leg. Once you've done both sides, you can flip the completed seat and rockers, setting it on the floor, which will allow you to bring in the back. The back shall rest nicely on the back of the seat and the top of the back legs. You'll attach the back to the top of the back legs, ensuring that the top of the back sits flush with the back legs. We suggest putting in one screw in each side to get the correct positioning. Then move to attaching the back of the back support by placing two fingers between the back of the seat and the back support, you'll get the correct angle of the back of the chair. Attach both screws on the one side before going to the other. Then you can complete installing the last two screws at the top of the back into the back legs. Lastly, finish attaching the back of the rocker to the seat by installing the last two screws. And there you have it. You're now ready to enjoy your beautiful CRP Adirondack rocker.
And if you love this piece, check out the rest of our furniture and accessories at crpproducts.com.